Hello geolocationists, this is Bruce, and today we're going to be looking at how to use the Google Maps JavaScript API in order to display a map with the user's location um, that we're going to get using the geolocation API built into our devices. Let's get started. So we've got a page set up here uh, for geolocation, and it's the uh, we've got a section down here to put a map, actually a geolocation map, um, and I've got a uh, my HTML with a page, and with a link to the Google Maps API, um, including my uh, my API key and a callback to a function called get location, which we will be adding in a second. Um, in the CSS is uh, a style here for the map, uh, for the location map. Um, and so you can see that's just styling this area. And it's important to have some sort of a fixed size, otherwise the map will have a height of zero. And you can see here I've got a JavaScript file set up and linked. Um, and in it, the only thing I have is an object for the location information. Uh, which I've got right here, where we can display messages for the purposes of this demo. So let's create that function. Get location, location. And then we'll zip back to uh, here and click on the Google Maps uh, JavaScript API tutorial. And what we want to do is some geolocation. So we'll scroll down here and click on geolocation. And this is a, a fuller, uh, more fleshed out example. But really what we're looking for is to is this uh, get current position uh, function right here. So we'll take that and we'll paste it into here. Let me just clean it up a bit. Making sure I close the, um, the the function, the anonymous function, as well as the uh, get, get current position method. Um, and then to see if it's working, and let's print out the uh, location info that we're getting. Uh, so using backticks, I'm going to add the position coordinates for latitude and the position coordinates for longitude. So we'll upload that and flip back to here. And there we go. So it has me located um, at uh, 43 degrees latitude and minus 79 degrees longitude. Um, next thing that we want to do is to create a uh, that function that will create the map um, and uh, display the user's location on the uh, page. So I'm going to use init map as the name of the uh, function again, and we're going to create that map. And we've got uh, the name of my map here is location map. And we're going to center the map at our, our current location. And for now, we'll set the zoom to 16. Um, so, so that location, um, we can do it a couple of different ways. Um, one is to use the Google Maps lat long. Um, so you can see here they've got uh, position equals. But if we go uh, new, Google Maps uh, 
lat long. And then we're getting the latitude and the longitude or the longitude. And then we can get rid of the, uh, the object there. And now let's call that init map. Function passing the uh, lat long um, Google object. All right, so we're passing it uh, as a, our position uh, into here for location, and then we're centering the map at that location. And putting the map into the location map um, object already on the page. And we've got a console error. because I've got a spelling error in my location map. There we go. So, so now, now you can see um, that uh, we've got a, a, a map, and if we uh, zoom out a little bit here, you'll see it's centered uh, somewhere uh, just north of Toronto, which I'm assuming is where my ISP has uh, their, uh, their offices or, or their data center. Um, so the next thing we probably want to do is to add a marker. Um, so we're going to go ahead and create a new marker. So let, you know, we'll call it marker. And we'll set the uh, position at our location. and make sure we put it on the map that we've created above. So the map is going to be this map, which I've called map. I feel like Dora the Explorer here. And let's add a title to it. So this title will appear when you hover over the marker and let's add a label. So this label will appear kind of behind the marker. And just to make make it clear which one's which, um, I've obviously you are here and here are here you are. So let's save that and upload and upload not dictionary and then we'll come back here and refresh. And with any um, luck, our marker will appear and it will say here you are. Um, and if we hover over it then you should get the title uh, coming up as well. There's two parts, um, as you've seen. One first part is getting a uh, geolocation or getting the person's location using uh, HTML5 get current position. Um, then we're creating a lat long uh, object uh, with, using Google Maps and then passing that into um, when we initialize the map or when we create the map, um, centering it at the location and setting an initial zoom to 16. Um, and then we're adding a marker at that location um, and adding a title and a label to that marker. I hope this helps.